Good afternoon, everyone. Today is we'll talk about property offenders and rational choice theory. As I mentioned, rational choice theory is one theory that has been applied for property offenders. So, according to rational choice theory, property offenders are you know are rational. They weigh the costs and benefits of their action. Receivers of stolen property are um, are those who receive property that has been stolen in order to turn them into fast cash. Okay, so thieves need need these receivers in order to transform or sell these goods so that they can obtain cash. And there are multiple paths that the stolen property takes from the thief to the customer. For example, the bur burglar may sell directly to a waiting customer. Or they may sell to people they know or take stolen goods to flea markets or auctions. They may sell the stolen goods on the internet, or they may sell to legitimate rela retailers claiming that the items are legal goods, or they may use a fence or a receiver of stolen property. What is a receiver of stolen property? Commonly, they are known as fence. They are individual or groups involved in the buying, selling, or distributing of stolen items. This is the least common method of dis disposing of stolen property for a majority of thieves. The most common method, however, of for professional thieves are to use fence or fences. What are the role of professional of criminal receivers? First, there are three kinds, okay? First, the professional receivers who regularly purchase stolen goods for resale. They may be a generalist or a specialist, and they often have a legitimate business that they use as a cover for criminal activity. They may be fully covered, partly covered, or non-covered. The second type of criminal receiver is the avocational receiver who buys stolen property as a part-time endeavor. Fencing is secondary to, but associated with the primary business activity. The third type are amateur receivers. They're otherwise honest people who buy stolen property on a relatively small scale. Finally, we talk about arson. Arson is any willful or malicious burning or attempt to burn with or without intent to defraud of a dwelling house, building, motor vehicle, or air aircraft, or personal property of another. There are fires that are suspicious or of unknown origin, however, but are not included in FBI's arson statistics. Majority of arson arrestees are white males, and they have different motives ranging from profit to thrill seeking. This next slide shows us the types of fire setters. Majority of those involved in arson are juveniles, and there are three groups of juvenile fire setters. First, children under the age of seven who start fires accidentally or out of curiosity. Children ages eight to 12 who start fires out of curiosity or due to an underlying psychosocial conflict. And children between the ages of 13 and 18 with a history of fire setting, usually undetected. Thank you very much for listening to my lecture today. And I hope you learn a lot. Um, and I'll please don't forget to do the module and in Blackboard.